All right, guys, Will Lewis here, back with another match day vlog. It's Sunday, Premier League action. It's a big one. It's Manchester United versus Liverpool. And look, two games in, won one, lost one. We have to win today if we're to sort of just try and get in the top half of the table as, as much as possible, really. Liverpool, they've had a they've had a, a strong start, two wins out of two. Admittedly, against not great opposition, if we're being you know honest in uh, in Ipswich and Brentford, this is their first, I suppose, real test. Of course, we didn't lose to them uh, last season in the three games we played them. Obviously, two in the Prem and one in the Cup. So, I don't know what to, you can never know what to predict with a, a United Liverpool uh, fixture. So. Both managers have said that it's a very obviously uh, important game. So uh, yeah, let's just see. Let's see what United team turns up today, and let's see if we can if we can get anything from this game. I'm really open for three points, but it's not going to be easy. Let's see what happens today. Come on, United! Right, just parked up at the Trafford Centre ahead of today's encounter with the uh, the red team of Liverpool. That being Liverpool, um, I mean, look, it's yeah. I know, I know what your feelings are going into this game. It's well, I suppose everyone. It's a must win, I suppose, for everybody. But I suppose some are looking at it in a more, I suppose, panicky way. If we lose, it's terrible. But then again, you have to remember the, the team that we are playing is very good opposition, so, yeah. Yeah, uh, we're in danger of the gap uh, opening up. City uh, are flying at the top. Yeah. We're in 13th. Um, if we drop points, you know, before you know it, you're 6, 12 points behind. Mm. Um and, and you're already giving up on the league. Um, th three games in, uh, we're not ripping up trees. Uh, disappointing loss against uh, Brighton. Uh, criminal defending. Mm. Um, yeah, we want to be positive. Uh, Sancho's gone. But someone has gone. Um, yeah, we've got your guards here and he can't play today. It's signed too late. Uh, it's going to be interesting how our squad in depth is going to deal with the coming months. Mm, definitely. Have we got a strong enough squad? Uh, I don't know. Um, injuries. We need, we need some positive, positive comebacks with injuries. Mm. Uh, there are, you know, there's, there's light at the end of the tunnel uh, with injuries, obviously, when uh, Hoyland comes back. Um, Yoro, you know, if we get these people back and, and we can maintain a, 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 an 11 that's plays regular, mm. then that's good because you need consistency. You need 11s that are playing together. Yeah, I can't remember what, uh, when we've had a time where. We've had a, a eleven players playing together for for a, a length of time. So, well, what seems to be the case is when players come back, some others will go. That was a very common scene last season. So, it's almost like we're just always going to have injuries throughout yeah, the season. Uh, 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 and Ten Hag's under pressure. No, 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 no bones about it. He loses to, loses today, and he's under pressure. He, he's got to get his tactics tactics right. Starting eleven, you would say. Yeah, I'm sick of saying Rashford, but he's already, he's already, yeah, he's always, mm. uh, he's always in the starting eleven. Xerxes, give him a chance. Yeah, yeah. You know, Ganacho, is he just going to come on as a sub? Mm. Um, but let's see. You know, today is a massive game. We 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 did well last season against them. Mm. Yeah, we did. Didn't lo didn't lose against them. Uh, they started well. I think they've only got Curtis Jones. Is it Curtis Jones yeah. injured mm. or doubt? Yeah. Uh, so, so they're they're uh, they're coming into this in, in a positive vein. It's, it, it is vital that we get these three points. Mm. Yeah. Prediction. 
and it'd be tight as it usually is uh competitive cards uh crowd are up for it what I, what do i think will happen i'm not sure uh i'm gonna go for a draw today yeah for a draw yeah it could be a one all yeah i want to win but mm. i think it could be a, a scoring draw today i mean we saw a few goals last season in the games that we played them i like i don't know what to expect i mean contradictory i'm going to say that i can't see it being a draw i think it'll either be united win or a liverpool win i think if liverpool are on are on form yeah i think they've got more going I mean, forward their options are, uh, they've got more options going forward than mm, we have currently yeah. because of injuries but uh, as I say, it depends how, mm. how Tenag sets, sets it out. I mean, if I just make reference to their opening game against Ipswich, the first half, Ipswich all over them, and then the second half, Liverpool just ran rampant around them. So I think if at half time, Arne Slot won't mess with them if it's been a, a poor performance or if we're in the lead. So for that, I think Liverpool 3 1 win today. I'm just, I'm, I don't really know. It could be anything, you know. First goal is going to be massive. Mm. Uh, Let's hope that we get that. I really want to win this. No, yeah, I do. But I, I, I'm just thinking... Have to be realistic it, though, don't it, we? It might just be a draw. Alright guys, here's today's starting eleven. So in goal, Anana, Masrari, Delit, Martinez, Fernandez, Rashford, Xerxi. Ganacho, Casemiro, Dallo, Menu, and on the bench, Brian Deer, Heaton, Evans, Maguire, Ahmad, Collier, Eriksen, Anthony, and Wheatley. Strong starting 11. Come on, United. Any more for you, Moscow? Fair 10.
hands up for it. Oh my god, putting a good performance. for that, disgraceful, probably the worst goal I've ever seen is con conceding a long time, shocking. So, just, I mean, like, if you look at past performances against Liverpool, I mean, the 5 0 loss a few years ago springs to mind. I think it was 4 0 at half time then, so it's not as bad, but it's just, it reminisces that, that the crowd goes dead, that, you know, it's, it, it's, it just goes so flat when they get two goals. And well, I'm not single handedly blaming Casemiro, but he was the reason why they went on to do the attack that then led to the goal, of course, better defending in there. It's not good enough. Going, going forward, there's not enough end products. I mean, look, I went 3-1 Liverpool on, on, on the camera. I didn't, I didn't expect us to, for it to be smooth sailing by any far, but you do expect better. I mean, we started the first 30 seconds, I think we got a corner. You just see that you may be able to produce something and then to, to give away easy goals like that, it well, just flattens it's, you. It's, it's obviously Casemiro. Casemiro, two mistakes, Diaz, two goals. Yeah. Our passing's been awful. You know, it's the same old story. Rashford looks like he's a ballerina. Ball comes up. He, you know, he's not even broken into a sweat. The final ball's not there, but no. the passing, we're passing, we're passing the ball to the opposition. It's basic stuff. I'd, you know, I'd like to look closely at those two goals. Obviously, we're at the other side, but self-inflicted. I mean, we've only had one shot. Is it Bruno? So we've only had one chance. And they could be three up, obviously, they had that yeah, first, first salad goal disallows it offside. The amount of space we're giving them is, is criminal, but we, we say that all the time. But the crowd's gone now, obviously. Yeah. The crowd were up for it early on, and now it, and now we've lost the crowd, so it's a massive uphill battle. Uh, we've not got much on the bench, you might bring Ahmad, Ahmad on, but is he going to be afraid to change things at our time? Will he take, is he sk too scared to take Casemiro off? If we're going to get anything from this, he has to make changes. Casemiro off 
and said the call is come on. It's gone down. Kick the, in the uh, face, isn't it? They look like they're kicking the face. Shown nothing this second. We've well, shown a bit this second half, but not enough. See off Ericsson on. That's a weird stop. Penalty to be honest, but the referee has indicated a minimum of five minutes of its time. It's finished, 90 0 Liverpool 3. Where, where do we go to that set part? I mean, well, Liverpool dominated us the whole game. We started off really well, I think we had quite a few attacks going forward that could have led to something, but it didn't. Liverpool, ran, I mean, they could have had 4 0. Uh, first goal was disallowed, and then they just ran rings around us. I mean, the first two goals, Casemiro was to blame, and then the third one was just soft defending. It could have been more. Liverpool didn't, didn't have to do anything in the second half, it was a training game for them. Look, three games in, three points, we're going to be in for a long season. Something's got to change, we can't keep going on like this. 